the triple flags, one. Safety car boards and flags. Uh, Started for Heimgartner. Safety car boards on display and yellow flags waving on the start finish straight. Heimgartner as a result. Big oversteer moment because he launched off the end because he's standing still in the rear corner of that. So we cup and mustard together. So out in the grey line. He gets it done too. That's for the lead. That's for the Oh! Yeah, massive rear brake locking there. And that's where he hit Van Gisbergen. Great presence of mind from Tander as well, who manages. Yeah, he was already well wide of the line. ...was involved, and see, Michael's actually locked up. And it's bumpier, and it's slipperier. So Dale cops a whack for that. He's from overhead, and... Uh, yeah. ...added Ash Walsh down the inside, who just... There's no way he could pull it up. Just gently... Well, that's a massive oil fire. So, I, look, an oil line shift with a concrete block. That may have it. to go. They went early in the back, and Andre Heimgarten. Oh. Drama spins. Nick Van Gisberg in the third. Courtney's being shuffled back and spins Lowndes. Hard into the back. There, oh, wow. See, everyone checked up as well. And you had that concertina. It's like 19th, and he got up to fifth. So I dare say that that won't be considered. Back from the Volvo, possibly Scott McLaughlin in the 33. And look, it's hard to determine as well, Jack. And this is behind. So Andre Heimgartner was the car immediately. And he was at the top of the car around so many times during a 60. Again. The dirt and on the exit, it's very dirty. But uh, Gisbergen's the one that... that Neil talked Michael Caruso, we join him at the wrong moment. So car one runs off. Oh, look at that trouble. Entry Lowndes sticks it up the inside. They touch. Reynolds has gone around. Improvements in the car, but he constantly did, and then you react to it, and it's often not oh, the right thing to do. Move, sorry to come. Her cat just having oh, yeah, a bit of a mistake down there at one. That's actually going to be all this space and time that everybody had will condense screen. Oh no! I think both the HRT cars actually made contact. It might be that stop it. He has in fact tagged Garth Tander, and that skittled the pack understand what happened to Andre, but we see him just, it was an Erebus car that was in that wall. Enters, and there's clearly a hit there. You can see it from Jason Bright. Okay, and the someone then was Dale Wood. He's done it on his own. He dropped the left rear into the dirt on turn in. This is completely a mistake on the part, unfortunately, of Fabian that he was trying to do at time. So Dale saw a gap, was trying to get on with it. Anyway, the point being that you never want the cars from the same garage. It's the lead, look behind him, it's contact there, the Freightliner liner injury. There's Tanda battling in the background, Blanchard's gone around, Lounds. Big time down at turn one, it's all going on down here again with Bright. Or he back of his shot here and you can see that already rotating is Reynolds. Your point about yesterday that with this brand new surface there is kind of a line. Here. James jumps to the left. I don't reckon he knew that Van Gisberg... From Rick, a lock-up! Corkvart's... Cool Jason Heingartner's going to be turned here in front of the pack. He grabs a red ball. Another angle from above. Pretty solid contact, that. Erebus teammates, so Ash Walsh and Will Davison. Oh. I'm not sure. Damage. Front right corner. Meantime, has been off the road. The Team BOC car at turn 14. Pretty harmless, 180 degrees. As they exit... Hidden Valley, and then we go back and have a look. I think this is Moffat. Yeah. The moment. Yeah, so actually, I think Bright of the final turn on the way to a spot on the second row. All this stuff going on. So uh, Chaz ended up nice at the wrong time, and there is Todd Kelly going around. And it got together here at turn seven. We'll see the aftermath of this. So. Uh, Rick Kelly. Oh, okay. So, is that Garth Tander in car number two? The end of the straight here. Mass. Oh, so we'll yeah, just well, they've just clipped each other close, and he actually had to. Oh, he's dropped the spot and tangled. Up. And this is the stuff where the innate skill kicks in for these guys. Trying to read the track on a slick tire. I'm going to throws it down the inside. There's contact. That's a sad. Just gets away from him, keeps his foot on the goose. And uh, rear wing damage to the Volvo. Oh. All over this past weekend, it's very easy to lock the inside. Also for car number 99, James Moffat.
haven't we seen some... Oh, look at the damage to the front left. So uh, Carl Reindler tries to go down the inside, ends up on the island to do it halfway along the car, and then actually ends up getting, getting clipped. He was wild over the top of the curbing at seven, and he was pretty much locked up the whole way down there. And you only literally get given his pace in practice. Well, Craig was battling to pull up there. He wasn't 100% sure whether or not... Uh, seen her off in sympathy goes Lee who actually whacks the wall the entry oh he's gone and into the wall I see exactly what happens to Garth he's just arrived in there too hot with the and then it's whacked this outside wall here nation through to the engineer to make the change Macaulay Jones having a few issues there with judgment around this place and judging where you are the well, here we are down at turn two it's very much like what happened to win cup so as he's who only just up the road is a stunt driver at movie world if ever there was a prerequisite qualification first chicane courtney so it's canto and dumbrell the taz okay so it did involve car one but in a different sequence so that's tight so he got a little bump and grind the Volvo back out. It's just gone straight out and straight into him. Bull boys, they were almost clean. There was a big concertina nose the tail thing here. Kultab was involved in Andrew Cash. It was an after effect. Oh, look at that. How's that for the closing? Heavy comment from the cockpit of car 34 that. Uh, Jamie um, knows exactly engineering capacity for these rounds to end the year with Jamie Wincup. Triple Eight really didn't do anything wrong. I mean, the lead from the start was had a strategy in play. Five using a low road, and that is the second time that he's rotated there. Uh, the last one here carried a bit too much pace because it's just fantastic. Tender. That's the second time we've seen. A pretty heavy contact with the for him to actually recover Ooh. from that Mark Winterbottom and big contact that up with Jason Bright and then Moffat Slade and Davison here all tangling with oh that on his data as well Lance was fourth fastest oh off the road he's in the wall the race leader in the wall there won't be very much of it to look at it oh the Ooh. So it, it was impossible to control the car. So remember, it's doing 255 kilometres an hour here. This will explain a bit about what happened. Was there contact with this car? This is on board with Frosty. See the nose on oh, Gala. It's a sandwich. Factory Ford Falcon gets squeezed by both the Holden Racing Team entries. James. Mark Winterbottom into the picture. Winterbottom, he's up to 11th. Uh, it was just slightly off camera to the right there. So the other car involved was Todd Kelly as well. See the damage. So Rick was into the back. Ahead of Craig Lowndes, though, then this skirmish at part in the race. And look at the battle for he and Cameron Waters. Look at this on the run to the Haitian. That's what damaged our hamburger cup at MG Corner. Contact Todd Kelly and Tim Slade. Well, Jamie just had the dive bomb going down the inside. He's tagged. Wind Cup ended up having to drive. And David, so he just tripped over his nose. He's tried to... That he series practice earlier on exactly the same for one of those just before he hits the curb look at the way the cars come down on the nose there that could have been a lot apex and what james had act by the time you see that shot there and here's the replay of what happened to... uh, no chance here and it's already damaged at yeah. this point it's already wounded and that'll be a familiar feeling for him 
it's going to be a difficult after. Blows out stuff going on behind him, and that. Oh, and... Oh, oh man. He's run wide for failing the tyres here. In the 10, but it was a late play. Here's a bit of aggravation. I am Dale Wood, and here's what happened. But got a fair way in, but as it does happen at those. Look like stopping him pretty. Him suggesting that you're gone. There's nothing. There's Ooh. absolute. Thing is that Scott McLaughlin's just been told him.